Hey yo, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another draft, Madden 16 Draft Champions. And yeah, this is probably, this is my first, this is my second attempt at rating Draft Champions. I had one, I think I went like 3 and 2. 3 and 2 in the, in, well like the first few batches of games. I lost my second game and you know, I was like, oh shit, I have to start a whole new other draft. But I didn't realize that you're allowed two losses until you have to start over. So... You know, this is my second time going through this ring draft champions. I went with the Carolina playbook. I don't know why. I just, and you know, probably because the Carolina Panthers is my favorite team. And round one, we have two elites. And I wasn't going to go with Captain Munderland. I knew I wasn't going to go with Captain Munderland. But the reason why I like draft champions a lot, man, well, for one, it's just, you know, everybody has an equal playing field. You know, when you play Ultimate Team, I mean, you know, one, you know, it, it, it's basically whoever puts the most amount of time and effort or who has the more coins to get the better players i mean they'll have the better advantage but here it's all about how you pick the players how your draft goes that's why i like ultimate team you know it's it's, it's kind of like it's kind of like playing fucking chess you know what i'm saying so i really like this game mode and i've been hooked on it and now with the ranked draft champions i really really i really 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 enjoy it as you see round four we got matthew stafford i know i need a quarterback but matthew stafford just won't be it we got Cliff Avery. I'm not too big on building, you know, my my ends or my D line. Uh, I'm really big on uh, I'm really big on like getting a defensive tackle. What I'm mostly big on is wide receivers and my linebackers because I use the linebackers, and I do need linebackers who are fast. Uh, block shed. I really don't. I don't. I really don't care about block shed that much. I just need a fast linebacker that can go sideline to sidelines, have a good play rec, have good play recognition. And you know that's what I did. I, I got Derek Johnson. Uh, he's not he's not fast fast, but he's not slow neither. And here around six to fifteen, didn't really like any, didn't really see anything that I like it. So I went with Jarvis Lam Landry. Jarvis Landry is one of those guys who plays above their overall. Like he, it may say that he's a seventy eight, but Jarvis Landry is a beast. And on the next round, I don't know who this Ladarius Green is. I really don't know who he is. I think he got a road to the playoffs. Never really heard of him much. But, hey, I mean, he's not a bad tight end. I'll be kicking myself if, you know, a Jimmy Graham or a Gronk comes through. Yeah, I'll be kicking myself for sure. But, hey, you know, I took a chance on Ladarius Green. Hopefully he doesn't disappoint. And, hell no, am I picking James Ahitabo. I don't know how to say his name. He's slow. James Ahitabo is slow. I've learned my lesson from picking him. Probably will never pick him in his draft. I don't care if he's the last choice. I would not pick James. On the round 9 of 15, just straight up, you know, mediocre players, you know, mediocre goal players. I'm going back and forth, and I think I picked Davis. Yeah, I picked Davis round 9 of 15. You know, the draft is going um, all right, and, but this round I'm pretty mad at. You know, they gave me an 89 elite overall fullback. Fullback. Like, who the hell needs an elite fullback? A, a silver fullback that they give you. In the game is perfectly fine, but an elite fullback, you know. But the best player on the board, I already have a middle linebacker, and I damn sure do not want Eli Manning as my quarterback. So I went with Anthony Sherman. Wasn't too happy with that pick, but it's okay. It's okay. And like I said, I went with Ladarius Green, but here comes Zach Miller, who's a fucking beast. But I did, I do want, I do want a study core wide receivers. Went with Emmanuel Sanders, and round 12 of 15. Yo, Justin Forsett is a beast in this game. They made Justin Forsett a pretty, pretty, pretty darn beast in this game. Round 13 and 15, win with KJ Wright, an easy pick to make. And the next round coming up, they gave me Derek Carr. And I, I was thinking about picking Derek Carr. No lie, I was thinking about picking Derek Carr, but then something told me, just no, wait until the last round, round 15 and 15, they gave me two legend quarterbacks in John Elway and Dante Culpepper tough decision to make here uh haven't played with neither quarterbacks yet actually I have played with John Elway phenomenal phenomenal card very I really really love I really really love his accuracy his accuracy is on point and I have a good group of wide receivers but but I have not played with Dante Culpepper yet this game so I went with Dante Culpepper I went with Dante Pepper uh you see the, the draft summary, 80 overall. I'd rather much have my defense a higher overall than my offense, but not that many choices. But gameplay coming soon. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Like the video. 
gameplay coming on the way. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.